a, a fly that works well on my own river here, the Colebrook. Uh, it's a Colebrook Minky. And uh, what I've done here is I've put a copper bead onto a B175 and I put a little bit of uh, Evo Stick Serious Glue up inside it just to hold it in place. And what I do is uh, I take one of these Kumihimo something. It's like a little foam holder with slits in it. It's for some sort of embroidery. But I put the, all of my beads on my cones and hang them down. Then I'll put a little drop of glue in them and let them dry. And that way I can tie batches. So, uh, the river I fish here has a, a run of trout that come up out of Loch Erne. In a similar way that uh, the Dolohan run the, the rivers of Loch Ney. However, when fishing for both of them, what I found was that the fish here preferred a brown fly, whereas the Dolohan seemed to prefer a black fly. For me, anyway. So, I'm taking here, a, this is a pine squirrel zonker. Uh, it's dyed in a sort of a rusty orange or whatever. And I'm just splitting it there at the back. And I'm going to tie over that. A little dab of glue just onto that tie in. The body on this plate. Uh, I'm going to use a copper light bright. I also use gold sometimes. Uh, sometimes the copper works better and sometimes the gold works better. But light bright is very easy for creating sort of flashy bodies because you can just dub it on. It sticks to itself really well. Then we fold over our zonker strip and tie it in. Take uh, this portion of a jungle cock here where you've got the tiny little eyes. Take off a couple of those and set one up on each side and tie those in. Just uh, act as little trigger points, eyes, I suppose. Trim off the spare. And then uh, you can either use your uh, your copper light brighty kind of stuff or here I'm going to use uh, hand spectre dubbing this one's number 29 it's like a purpley brown color just because hands makes very fine sparkly dubbing and just dub that on and that will neaten up your tie in point because zonkers and that and tying up behind beads can often leave uh, just a bare portion of thread behind it which I don't really like the look of but a little bit of glue just let it run down the, the back of the bead and that will hold it all in place I have the Colebrook Minky